Here is a briefing on what the portal contains. We'll look at this from the top bar and work our way down the sides. This is always the home button, My USF, so if you get lost, this is where you would go. This is where you access webmail, which is your Outlook email, which is the same as your USF email. Notice that you're logged in up here as the student uh, full name, last name, at stfrancis.edu. And you can go ahead and close that. As we move to the right, you will see your uh, student name and your student ID, and you can access your privacy settings, which are obvious. You can share whatever you wish. You can access your bio. In this case, George Washington is an administrative assistant. Well, that's okay. You can also access any pictures that you have, and if you wish to add an album, which enables you to upload photos, you would simply go here and choose a photo and click Save. You also have your contact information. And so that's those are the controls in the top bar. You're going to see notices from time to time, such as these, which you can collapse and expand. Uh, notice that this is the um, information that this is a testing server, but it is reflective of the real thing. You also may have to do items, and so it is wise to click on this and carry out any of the responsibilities that you encounter. Then you have, we're still on my contact information, so let me go back to the home page or the home button, use the home button, and move on down to where you see this class schedule for the upcoming semesters or the current semester. And when the semester starts, you will see an enter button off to the side with which you can enter your uh, Canvas course. So in the menu at left, you have a search bar. You also have your personalized information under home. You have a section for students in which you can see what kind of services are available to you. These, I think, are fairly self-explanatory. You may wish to find order your books, in which case you will be taken to this view of ordering your books. And here is this little icon up in the right-hand side allows you to bookmark the page so that you can start building your bookmarks. You can see order your books and manage your bookmarks. And so you have that for students. If you're an employee at USF, you have these options that are available to you, including timesheet entry and other related, uh, other related items. You have a menu of departments and the various colleges. You have your account settings. You have uh, various colleges. Uh, you have departments. And under departments, you can find Lots of different resources, uh, too many too many to uh, try and summarize here, but let's say you want to uh, go to the library. You can go to the library from here. And as you can see, it's got another option to uh, make it a bookmark, so why not bookmark the library homepage so that it, it, appears, it appears under uh, bookmarks. And so you can move on down the line and select whatever you're looking for. You might also be interested in SGA clubs and organizations that you may want to become part of. You can choose USF clubs and take a look at any of these which may be of interest to you. Speaking of groups, you've got these clubs. There's also a component called My Groups. And here you notice that you are not a member of any group, but if you choose See All Groups, you'll be able to see the various groups that have community presences here on, uh, on campus. For whatever group you wish to join, you can get in touch with the person who organizes the group and express an interest in joining the group. So whatever you need to do or wherever you need to go in your USF online experience, you can find pretty much what you're looking for in the portal.